tablets never hurt anybody. See the trick around here is you start your car five minutes before you get into it, turn the aircon on full, so then by the time you get in, hopefully, it's cold and it's not too bad in here, so that has worked. Wearing my favourite, favourite tank, favourite singlet ever. Um, I've had this for like two and a half years now and it's as good a condition as when I first bought it. It's fucking mint, I gotta say. It's called a Dry Fit Racerback by TMJ. And I actually got it when Master Joe's came to Alice Springs and did a seminar here in, in um, Anytime Fitness. And they gave this to the uh, club manager back then, who's Lindsay. And um, he was a little bit shorter than me, and this is a large, I think it's actually extra large. And so, I got it. So hey, there you go. There's a little story for you. I should be training back, but my lower back is feeling a little bit tender from the squats last night. And also, um, I did quite heavy rack pulls earlier in the week. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens when I get to the gym, but I think it's going to be arms. Fuck, man, you know what? I've, I've pretty much trained ev everything except for calves. Carbs and abs, so I know that's that's a favorite workout of a lot of people, or an ab workout anyway. I've never trained abs in my entire life. It's not because I, I'm, I think I'm too good to train abs, it's basically because just haven't, haven't really taken the time to sort of learn some good ab workouts and, and hit them. And the fact is, is that when I don't actually have visible abs, I definitely don't feel like training them, so. I know where some people are coming from when they say that because I feel the same way and I've never, well, I mean, I've, I might have trained abs like five, ten times in five years, whereas I've trained everything else at least once a week, so. Uh, let's see what happens. Maybe I might do some ab work at the end just to see, like, my condition because um, it should have improved already. I never, like, I might say I'm dieting hard, guys, but... I never go to bed hungry, I mean, and that's just part of it, if you want to be, you want to start getting shredded, you, there's going to be times when you go to bed hungry, and I have actually been doing that the last three days, so that is kudos to me, and hopefully we'll see some definition coming out, but until then, I'll speak to you guys soon, I'm amped up on fucking pre-workout, feels good to have some caffeine in me. I'll tell you what, one thing I'll never get sick of is having an automatic gate. It's boss, man. It's boss, but... I mean, someone can just fucking get over the side anyway. But actually, this is a caravan park next to this complex. The complex actually used to be a hotel. A hotel complex. Um, now there's a caravan park next door and that is going to be completely bold and subdivided into 40 new sections so that people can build brand new houses so not only is the complex that i'm living in going to be brand new but there's also going to be a 40 house uh little cul-de-sac sort of thing with brand new houses awesome two-story things it's all set back into the into the um mcdonnell ranges which is an amazing backdrop it's fucking sweet so you know, I think uh, I think I've bought in the right area here, and I hope I've bought in the right area over in Queensland. So then both of my properties can go up in value, and I'm not going to sell them. Um, what I'm going to do is refinance or get my get my properties revalued, and hopefully have a little bit of equity uh, generated in the houses and use that as a uh, as a deposit for a next place and leverage the fuck out of myself again and keep doing it keep doing it but as long as i don't make a really really stupid decision um like i mean at the moment I'm, <laughs> i saw a story on 60 minutes the other day about a lady who lives in a mining town her and her partner her and her husband whatever and they started buying real estate they obviously had decent paying jobs they could, um, they had the borrowing power and they started buying real estate. Now that 
that town was built on the coal industry and when the coal industry went to shit well I'm pretty sure it was coal but anyway it doesn't really matter it's um it's a mining town basically and so the industry left so did everyone else and now this lady is stuck with all of this brand new like real estate that she's just built in the last few years with with no one to uh, oh, and bought sorry she bought at the top of the market and uh, not only have the prices gone down no one wants to rent them and she's completely fucked so you know rental uh, something like vacancy rates is, is extremely important because at the end of the day it's a business uh, you're, the money you're paying out to paying the mortgage the money you're getting in is the rental return that you're getting so you want that rental every single week of every single year um, you don't want four weeks eight week period where you don't have anyone in there that's just going to cost you money in the long run and it's not going to be a, a good investment basically I mean yeah it's not a good not a good investment so both my places would be rented out like that um, which is good the vacancy rate here in Alice Springs is actually kind of high um, but as you can see over here this is the backdrop so yeah that's my unit over there and it's um it's got the ranges at the backdrop it's fucking it's pretty sweet so anyways maybe it's wishful thinking but i've made calculated decisions and um I know what I, I know where I want to be in like 15 years. I want to be owning a portfolio of properties and you know having enough passive income so that I don't have to work for someone else. You know, I don't want to be in the rat race. I don't want to fucking work my heart out for someone else to make money. I mean it's drilled into us to try and get an awesome job and work for someone else but if you've got an entrepreneurial spirit that is not going to be enough it's just not and then your brain is going to start working properly and you're going to start thinking about other ideas that's just what entrepreneurs do and so that's what I'm doing and one way that I've had in my head since I was bloody 10 years old is property and I'm finally in a position to be able to buy something and now buy two properties and as long as it's, as long as I stay in my current job there's no reason why I couldn't continue buying property but for me to stay in my job I need to stay in Alice Springs so that is a concern and it has been for probably the last three years so uh, I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen but whatever does happen I'll tell you guys and it would be really awesome to go back to New Zealand and see my parents and see people and talk to people and tell them what I'm doing and get feedback from them because yeah my dad is actually I mean he has an entrepreneurial brain as well he tried to flip properties when he was younger he had rental properties he had sections but unfortunately when people split up finances get halved and people's situations go to absolute shit so that's something I hope doesn't happen to me either um, but yeah being single makes it hard because a double income would just du double your borrowing power I mean that would be amazing if I if I found a girl who was paid really well and was interested in building wealth through property we could be very powerful very powerful but at the end of the day who knows what the property market is going to do I believe is going to eventually go up I'm buying bricks and mortar assets with my money I think it's I'm not going to get into shares I'm not going to get into fucking anything risky like that so anyways I'm in the gym now so we're about to go kill it that's a little bit of finance talk who knows if I made sense or not I think I did though Take me away from home Show me all the places I've never known I will chase the night 
Embrace all of these broken dreams and flight And we'll fly Biceps and back. Fuckload of sets for biceps and a fuckload of sets for back. No rep pulls. I decided, you know, I could still train back, but I just have to do some isolation shit. So that's what I did. Variations of pull downs and some um, seated row and a uh, pullover movement as well. So feeling fucking pumped right now. Feeling, feeling, well, 
flat, but surprisingly pumped, especially my back, so uh, that's good. Definitely coming in already, eh? Like, I'm happy. Goes to show what, what you can achieve if you actually stick to a diet. So, working on that peak, always, is life. Always working on peak. Thinking about skipping cardio, but I'm on a roll at the moment, so. I won't. I'm just going to put these on. Alright guys, so quick change of plan. Um, I didn't do cardio. I rung my sister to see if she wanted to go up the mountain for a hike. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to meet her at the foot of the mountain in about 20 minutes. But obviously I just hit quite a big session at the gym so I need some protein. So what I'm doing is I'm just making the exact same smoothie as I had this morning. Protein powder, mixed berries, oats, almond milk. And I'm just going to quickly chug that back, make up some BCAAs. I'm going to make up um, a shaker with core ABC. I'm just going to have one, one serve, 10 grams of BCAAs. And I will be sipping on that on the way up. And um, yeah, it's gonna, that's going to be my cardio. So it's going to be at least an hour, hour and 20. And in fact, I'll burn five, 600 calories. So it's, it's a good form of cardio. But I wasn't going to do it myself. So lucky for me. I got my sister to come along and uh, I'm gonna get this. So fucking good. So good. And then when I get home, I'll be cooking up some more kangaroo um, and putting that with some. Rice. And uh, then we'll see about some dessert. I don't know what I'm going to have. Alright, so we are walking up Mount Gillen. Um, I've got my sister and my flatmate with me. And it's pretty cool because those two haven't actually seen each other for like a few years because we all used to grow up together back in Christchurch and um, yeah Melina my flatmate knows more about us than most so it's fucking funny like catching up all together but they're up there I'm back here we have to make it right to the top of that mountain and last time, last time I tried this, the sun was probably about halfway between where it is now and the ra ranges. So um, it got a little bit dark. So hopefully this time we have enough sun to complete the walk. We get all the way up to the top for a wicked sunrise. And it'll be epic. And it'll be 600 calories cardio. So you can't, you can't lose. Two and one.
How are we going? Dying, that's dying. dying. Quarter of the way to go. Break, break time? Yeah. Alright. Not far now. <laughs> oh my god. is always very interesting. I'm actually hoping that we still have some light because we've probably got about at least half an hour if not 40 minutes worth of walking so anyways guys this has been an awesome awesome day um, it's been an awesome few days actually and I'm, I'm glad I'm vlogging it it's um you know it's it's motivating me I'm making progress and let's hope that can continue so I need a fucking drink of water right now we left our bottles down there because it was quite hard getting up the rocks here so anyways they're nearly here we're gonna head off home after this get some dinner we've deserved it what's up everyone i uh, just got home from my sister's place went over there to hang out tonight and i needed some more protein sources so what i've bought is all of this shit that's going to last me probably the next four or five days. My chicken breast, um, cooked chicken breast, just to add in salads and sandwiches and things like that. Makes it a lot easier and it's, it's really nice. Kangaroo meatballs, two things of those. 12 tins of sweet chili tuna and 2% Giovanni Greek yogurt. So I'm happy with that. And we've got, for carbs at the moment, we've got rice, oats, uh, bread, English muffins, and Nutri-Grain. So I'm going to make up a feed now, and then I'll be hitting the, hitting the sack. Back to work tomorrow. Another day, another dollar.